the Earl Schaefer Foundation that I'm representing here today was established just a few years before uh, Earl passed away. And its purpose is to sort of maintain and continue his, his legacy of you know, love for the outdoors and hiking, and also to publish uh, his writings. Earl was a prolific poet, and that was near and dear to his heart. And, and, and he felt that that was a very important part of his legacy. And we have published several volumes of his writings, his, uh, his poetry, mostly poetry that, that he wrote during World War II. He was stationed in the Pacific for four years, uh, going from island to island. It's called the Not Too Distant Trails. And this is something he wrote, probably sitting in a, in a tent on some island in the, in the South Pacific. With a, with a slit trench covered with logs nearby that they could duck into when the, when the, the, the Japanese planes would come over and, and bomb and strafe. You've all heard of K-rations, right? You know, that's, that's what the, the, the troops were eating. So, been batching up some cocoa that I'd saved from Ration K, and it started, to, started me to thinking of a long gone summer day when we started out on a pack trip on the Appalachian Trail with a mighty meager outfit and a grub list just as frail. Do you wreck the strange concoctions that we cooked and ate with pride? Scads of scalding tea we swallowed and the rain we took in stride. Do you recall the message we found nailed against a tree of a spring of fresh water we ventured down to sea. And we trailed along till sundown on that one lone canteen to the stream beyond the fire tower where the trees were lush and green. Cooked a mess of beans and bacon, almost all the grub we had. Pitched the tent and sort of reckoned that the trip was not so bad. Can you recall the wailing of the nearby whippoorwill? and the far-off bark of foxes off across the wooded hills, and the deep, untroubled slumber in the fragrant tang of pine, till the wood thrush welcomes morning from a tall tree down the line. In the light of reminiscence, those were days of solid gold that I reckon will remember when we're atrophied and old. <laughs> How as kids, we sometimes wandered on those not too distant hills where you know that home is waiting if your grub or weather fails. <laughs>